Warning, the following video contains incredible amounts of failures. From masterpiece pasta dishes to the sad, sad evolution of cornbread, these are 33 worst cooking tips ever. Hey, Precursed, watching this video, it might make you think that the people who cooked up these monstrosities are actually zombies. Insane. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 33, how to cook pasta. Cooking pasta is a pretty simple procedure. Boil water, add noodles, and wait. That's it. If your Italian dinner ends up looking something like the pasta in this photo, you're doing it right. Number 32, a new Thanksgiving tradition. As you can see from this picture, Thanksgiving is a holiday where you can throw together some ingredients and call it a day. Just look, do you know that Cheerios were a Thanksgiving staple? Spread the word. Number 31, pancakes. The person that made this face pancake must be a top chef. Just look at the precision and detail in the eyes and mouth. Clearly, this person has been practicing how to make a perfect morning spread. Number 30, taco night. Who doesn't love tacos? Taco night is about one of the best nights of the week. One of the best things about tacos is you can put whatever you want inside. You just have to have a taco shell. Just look at this aspiring chef as they mix Italian cuisine with Mexican. Genius! Don't they look delicious? Number 29, baking a pizza. Pizza is a convenient food because you can either pick one up that's been frozen or you can get one delivered to your home. If your frozen pizza acts like the one pictured here and explodes, don't worry, it's supposed to do that. Then when you scrape the mess off the bottom of the oven, you get all sorts of yummy crunchy flavor added for free. A win-win. Number 28, it's done. As you can see from the photo, the chef cooking in this kitchen made the meal explode with the love. What do you do in this sort of situation? Just scrape the love off the walls and serve it up. Food only explodes when it's done. Number 27, eggs over easy. Eggs are one of the easiest things to cook, and the best part is that you can cook them almost anywhere. Just look at this picture. Clearly, you can use a clothing iron to cook them. Another awesome place to cook eggs is on a hot pavement. Delicious. Number 26, making nachos. Nachos are almost as fun as tacos. And like tacos, they are super easy to make. Just like you see in this picture, grab a large cookie sheet and pile on some stuff. The person who took this photo used chips as their first layer. Risky, but it still works. After you have piled on everything you could possibly want on your nachos, you stick the whole thing in the oven. It doesn't matter how long you cook them for, they'll look something like this when they're done. Bon apple tea. Number 25, plastic makes perfect. For those of you who don't know, plastic anything is so awesome to cook with. It helps distribute the heat evenly so that your food is cooked to perfection. Just look at the delicious cookies that were made on a plastic tray in this picture here. They look so evenly cooked, it's crazy. This is how you make a delicious, good cookie. Number 24, the newest Fruit Ninja. Do you remember the Fruit Ninja game? Well, this is the DIY version that helps you save time in the kitchen. Just do as the picture shows and tape a knife to one or all of the fan blades like pictured. Then, when you're ready to cook tonight's dinner with the speed of a superhero, just turn on the fan and throw food at it. Soon enough, dinner will be done. Kitchen Hack 101. Number 23, all the food groups. In order to lead a healthy life, you need to make sure to eat meals that contain all of the food groups, just like the complete meal you see pictured here. As you can see, this person has food from breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which perfectly represents a balanced meal of every food group. Number 22, how to make a gingerbread house. Making a gingerbread house from scratch takes no time at all. Just look at the one picture. It took only about 20 minutes to set this baby up. Just make sure you have the right ingredients because if you use anything other than ginger and bread, it's not really an actual gingerbread house. Get out of here. Number 21, adding spices. When adding spices to a meal, there's no such thing as too much. The person who made this morning scramble knows what they're doing. Just look at that use of pepper. That's going to taste phenomenal. Number 20, cornbread recipe. This is some of the best cornbread you'll ever eat. We just don't understand why people keep making such a fuss about this stuff. Yes, we know that it's a great addition to barbecue, but it's not as hard, nor does it take as long as people claim it does. Just like the picture shows, you take some bread and throw some corn on it. Done. Number 19, the addition of cheese. Cheese is a magical food group. You can put it on literally anything and that thing will now taste better. Don't like your morning cereal? Just do as this smart pants is done in this picture and throw some cheese on it feel free to all mix it in number 18 gourmet snacks we are going to let you in on a little secret gourmet snacks are nothing but normal food in weird portions just take a look at the selection of gourmet snacks this person has to choose from we don't know if you wanted the mustard covered pretzels or the jalapeno cheese bowl first it's just too hard to choose number 17 banana bread recipe just like the cornbread in number 20, the banana bread you see in this picture was made using the same techniques. People should really stop complaining that cooking is hard. It's not. Number 16, character cakes. 
As you can see from this lovely image, decorating a cake isn't hard at all. This person clearly made a My Little Pony cake and it turned out beautiful. You can totally tell, it's so obvious, can't you see it? Number 15, baking cookies. Cookies are another thing that is super simple, but people still seem to make a big fuss about. When you are lining the cookies on the tray, make sure that you don't space them out and that every edge touches another. This ensures that the cookies won't get lonely while they're baking. Once they are done, they resemble what you see in this picture. You cut them apart just like you would a cake. It's the reason why they both start with the letter C. Number 14, French frying. Making french fries really needs to be left to the French who fry them. If you attempt to do it yourself, you won't get a perfect black and crisp like the kind on the fries in this photo. You'll get some other mess entirely. Just leave frying the fries to the French. Number 13, frosting a cake. When you frost a cake, it is assumed that it is the final step in the cake's creation. If you have frosted the cake correctly, it should look like the cake pictured here. If your cake hasn't sunk in the middle, you haven't added enough frosting. If you've added more than a few tubs and you're still having trouble, just a quick punch in the center should do it. Just like the top chefs on TV do. Number 12, making tea. When you are making yourself a lovely cup of hot tea, your pot of boiling water should look something like the one in this photo. Once all the water is gone, you scrape the burnt pieces and set them to the side. Then turn your tap water on hot and fill the mug with water. After you have your mug of water, add those carefully prepared tea scraps and drink up. Number, Number 11, 11, baked sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are a funny thing indeed. All you need to make some at home are some regular potatoes. Add some sugar and a baking tray. Cut a hole in a part of the potato and pour as much sugar as will fit in the spud. If you have done it correctly, the now sweet innards will ooze out of the potato, just like in this image here. The reason it oozes is because of a chemical reaction between the sugar and the starch of the potato. Now you can make your own sweet potatoes at home. Number 10, using an electric kettle. People seem to be confused about this one. So here we are with clarification. An electric kettle must always be used on the stove or in a microwave. Some people think that it heats up all on its own. But this isn't Harry Potter. The person who took this photo had the right idea. Just imagine how warm his water is getting. Number 9. Scrambled eggs. We are about to change your life forever. This is the ultimate scrambled eggs hack. Just like you see in this picture, crack open a few of those bad boys and pour them into a Tupperware container. Then shake it up. The more you shake, the more scrambled your eggs are. After scrambling them, throw the whole container into the microwave and wait for it to blow up. Voila. Number 8. Hot chocolate. If you have chocolate candy, but no chocolate powder to make hot chocolate with, don't worry. We'll show you how to make classic hot chocolate from candy and water. Just like you do when you use the powder, which is just chopped up candy by the way, you fill up your desired cup with water. Throw your candies in and wait 10 minutes. Stir and drink. As you can see, the person making hot candy chocolate in this picture really has the recipe down pat. Number 7. Pan frying eggs. As you can see from this photo and the examples we mentioned before, eggs are one of the easiest things to cook. When pan frying an egg, it's okay to throw the shells in there too for some extra calcium, just like this picture shows you. Number six, making healthy donuts. Donuts can be the healthiest thing you eat all week. You just have to get rid of the junk on top. You can make your donuts healthier in one of two ways. You can either stick it in the microwave and let the waves of the machine melt off your toppings, or you can scrape them off with a knife. As you can see from this photo here, this person opted for the first way. At least they'll be a lot healthier now. Number 5. Using a pressure cooker. Do you remember how we've been saying that the food isn't done until something explodes? Well, like this picture will lead you to believe, the same goes for when you're using a pressure cooker. If it hasn't exploded, crank up the heat because it's not done yet. Number 4. Making caramel. As this picture shows, making caramel is loads of fun. It's so simple to make that we don't understand why everything isn't covered in the sticky substance. Just throw sugar and sweet things into a pot. See picture for example, and leave it for 8 hours. Then you'll have plenty of caramel to dress all of your dinners with. Number 3. Baking bread. When you add additional ingredients to bread, it only tends to make it taste better. If you throw in some inanimate objects into the mix before it bakes, then you will acquire whatever skill that item had. Clearly, the person that made this bread was hoping for better sight. Number 2. Character Pancakes Contrary to what you believe, character pancakes are super easy to make. Just look at the Tinkerbell in this photo. She's almost spot on to the real thing. Number 1. Popcorn the belief that you have to set a timer on the microwave for popcorn to turn out right is just a bogus lie. You don't even have to use a bag. Just rip that bag open and toss a handful of corn babies into the microwave. Cook the corn for a good minute. Since the corn is still raw, you want to be sure to not get salmonella. The person cooking the popcorn in this picture seems to have gotten the right idea. Never mind the fire. Microwaves do that from time to time. Faulty wiring or whatever. Did you learn something from this video? Curious about anything else? Let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Sport better.